I'm Kevin Fragish picking up dog poop on the street. Well, not really, that would be gross. So for this story, we're going to use the word gifts instead of dog poop. Yesterday, we had the story about the city of Waterloo converting gifts into electricity. It seems though, they weren't the first. This is George, and he's heading outside to, um, let's say, give us a gift. Oh, sure, we may think it's disgusting, but it's really a gift. In fact, George spends his days thinking about the gifts he can give us. Years ago, the folks from Poop Patrol realized the potential of these presents George and his friends were providing us. They were pioneers in turning these offerings into energy. We average about 450 uh, kilograms a week. So, so far in the last few months, we've actually been able to convert almost five tons of poop into power and we're uh, aiming for as much uh, poop as we can. And about two years ago, the city of Pickering was among the first municipalities in Canada to realize that once the wrapping paper is uncovered, these gifts could actually help power local homes and businesses. So when you stoop and scoop in Pickering, someone is picking up after you. All right, so what's that way? Three kilograms. Okay, a review before we tell you how it's done. Pick up the presents in the backyards of Southern Ontario and in the parks of Pickering. Then like Santa, you haul these gifts 150 kilometers to Elmira. The final destination, Cornerstone Renewables, which really looks like an evil secret lab. And here is the evil science guy, Travis Woolings. But rather than world domination, he just wants to power it. Every year, 70,000 tons of organic waste, including the dog gifts, come here from across Southern Ontario. He showed me the control room. I was ready for a room filled with computers and panels. I found only one small screen in a room that apparently is the brains of the whole operation. So our operators are actually able to manage the process using their cell phones, if need be. Really? Yes. Now, here is how it all works by the numbers. Number one, George and his friends wrap up the presents. Number two, <laughs> number two, the gifts are all gathered with care. Three, it is trucked to Elmira. Then four, processed. For a month, it is churned in holding tanks and deprived of oxygen. It breaks down and produces methane gas. And five, the gas is sent across the yard to the engine rooms. It powers turbines that produce the electricity that is fed up these wires into these wires outside. It generates about 173 megawatts of electricity, enough to power a town of about 12,000 people. So whenever you turn on the lights, remember the gift. Wait, wait a minute, here's a, here's a better analogy. When you turn on your TV to watch breakfast television, remember. One irony here. This is their neighbor. They make dog food. So eventually, it ends up across the street. Here, Kevin Frankish, Elmira, City News.